What's going on guys? Uh, I am going to show you how the old Norwalk juicer works. Um, let me see if I can get some more light on the situation. Uh, let's see, hope that does it. Um, so this is my little beautiful juicer. So what I'm going to do is turn this on, let you hear it purr a little bit. Uh, yeah, let you hear it purr, here we go. Um, so that's how the juicer works. I'm using a juicing cloth rather than the bag for the first time, so I don't know how this is gonna go. Um, sorry, I'm gonna feed it first. Uh, but we're gonna throw some stuff in there first to get this guy going. But the first time we are going to make, this is, we're gonna make a uh, bone building uh, juice. We got some kale, some apples, and some carrots and parsley as well. So you'll see that all you really do is feed the juicer. It's basically, it's triturating uh, the fruits and vegetables. And you'll, see, you'll see here after you get going what it does. If you don't cover it up, it will kind of match uh, you. It'll kind of fly up. Keep feeding it, we just keep feeding it, keep feeding it, keep feeding it. This is the third time I've used it, so it's going to be you know, an interesting experience having filming it in front of you guys. So right now what we're gonna do is leave that in there. So we've got our first little batch here. Alright, we fold over. Take this, put that in the old juicing tray right there, and we just turn this on, turn the hydraulics on, and let's see what we can get going. So this thing goes pretty fast here. Um, you get about a cup full of, you know, triturated stuff, and then you just watch it go. I don't know if my arm was in the way, but this is basically the process, just like that. Let's speed up a little bit, get a little bit more juice out of there. Basically what that thing does is gets as much juice out of there as possible. We're going to let it go for a little bit longer because there's still a little bit of juice coming out. Um, we'll take it down for a second. I'm just going to push it back up in a little bit. Bring it back in so we can get a little bit more of that, ju that juice that didn't come out before. Uh, not a whole bunch. Anyway, so it's still, it's still taking a little bit. But we'll come down with it. And basically, let that thing come all the way down. And what you get is a little cookie which is pretty dry and I'm just gonna actually throw the cookie away because I don't need it I don't know if Tyrone will eat it but then we start the whole process over again and do it again now you can do two sheets and I've never done it and I'm not gonna try it today and I don't know if you saw that but basically Got a little bit of throw back up there. Got parsley and kale going together in here right now. You want to try and keep this opening as closed as possible. Just because you want as little throw back as possible. And you also don't want to don't want to juice, don't want to press this thing all the way down. Because if you do that, then it's basically taking away that buffer that you have. In there to actually keep that throwback from, from happening. So we're just gonna keep pushing through, and right now I can see I'm just 
show this off for a second because I can see that we've got a little build up in this little tray here. So what we're going to do is I'm going to try to knock that build up out. We're just going to put that in there and this. I do have clean hands so shut up. Um, we're just going to knock this out. I'm going to rinse this off. Rinse that off. Get that open back up, and we will continue the process because this is such a fun little process. All right, we'll turn it back on and continue with the juicing. And once I get going, once I keep moving along, I'm sure I'll get a lot better. There's definitely a system that you're supposed to do to push this in, um, but I'm not using that system because I don't really care right now. Um, and you definitely don't want to stick your fingers in there like I'm doing because one of them will be chopped off for sure. Okay, so we've got another cup in there. What we're gonna do, we'll fold this back up. We gotta fold in our grease again here. Fold, fold, fold. Fold. Tight. Hop back in. And hop back up. And watch it go. I'm sure kids would have a lot of fun with this. But I'm not a kid, but I am having fun with it. Um, so we'll just watch that juice juice. And that is the boat load, and I went way too fast on that guy. Um, but that's alright. Way too fast. And should be good enough. So we probably got what we needed out of that. that out again and we'll see our little cookie again and we'll just toss the cookie again and we've got you can just generally throw those away because basically what Norwalk says is the pulp from this stuff is so dry like no animals will eat it which is great I don't know if that's true I have a little dog named Tyrone that will possibly state otherwise he is a big fan of carrots, but I put it in his dog feed once and he wasn't such a fan, so, oh, there she goes, <laughs> and that was all over me, so, great, awesome, awesome, awesome. Definitely all over me, pretty sure, that's another bad move, pretty sure that got And what we are going to do is turn that off for a second. We're going to try to push it through. And we're going to try and do it one more time. Let's take out that grill. Should go right through now. We're pretty much good on what's in there. There's gonna be a little bit left in there, but I'm fine with that. Pop that out. Here we go. Last round. Hold one. Hold two. Three and four. We just got a little bit here. Pop it in. Watch it go boom. And just yes, you can see there's vegetables on top of that, and that is totally my fault. Pause 
apologize to the vegetable gods. Yes, it desiccated. And that's pretty green right there. Uh, looks like we've got about three cups of juice. Three, three or four cups. Um, and if you look in here, there's some juice in here, but it's very minimal. So that's that. So we basically just juiced 12 carrots, not 12, yeah, 12 medium-sized carrots, um, eight stalks of kale, four sprigs of parsley, and two apples, and that is what we came up with. Um, so we're gonna pull that back down. Pop that out. It's more fun than anything else. I know I should wait until it's done, but I didn't. You can see my arm, that's great. Uh, and then we're just gonna turn it off, because we're done with that. And we are going to throw away the peels of the carrots. And I'm going to pour this into some mason jars so you can get kind of an idea of how much juice we got here. So, got one little mason jar here. We'll fill that guy up to the top. So one. So we got about a 20 something ounce mason jar right here. And second mason jar. So I don't know if you can tell, but that's about that's nothing. Um, I got all kinds of vegetables all over the place here, but over time I will get a little bit better at that. And we basically got a few different things to take off of this. We got that tray. Unscrew these. Basically, take this off. Pull that off. This comes out right there. This comes off. And so is that drill right there. And those are the parts you clean. And that is it with the Norwalk juicer. Very pretty, it's pretty easy. These parts all you do is just rinse them off. Hot water is good enough. Rinse them off and set them down to dry, and you, you're pretty much good to go. Um, and that's the cleaning. And then anything, any spray that you leave around, which is left on your Norwalk, you just kind of wipe down with a, with a uh, rag or sponge, and you're good. Um, that's it. So there's my Norwalk tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I'm gonna enjoy some juice, some bone builder. Alrighty.